Hello and welcome to UAT Time with Olivier Vidrin and Sergei Vichansky. Today we'll talk about the EU-Ukraine association opportunities and how it will influence the Ukrainian civil society and economy in general. The latest two years events started back when a former president of Ukraine, Viktor Yanukovych, refused to sign the EU-Ukraine Association Agreement, which led to what we now know as Maidan and with other consequences. And since the association is signed by the new president, Petro Poroshenko, and is set to come into force on January 1st of 2016, there are many you questions this about this. You have the civil society because of Maidan. You have the universities, you have the experts, you have the will. As we something. all know, the ongoing conflict with Russia mm -hmm. has added a sense of urgency to the process of expanding into EU uh, markets. I met a lot of businessmen in Ukraine. They really uh, do not know what is in this agreement. And they want to go to the EU market but they don't know how to That's go to the EU where market. The, it becomes really interesting because uh, as a typical Ukrainian, as I hear that uh, a, U a European Union is ready to give, you know, 400 uh, million or something uh, help or whatever, uh, what, what's the numbers are? Uh, we talk about, uh, for all the program, yeah? Yes. About yes. 11 billion. 11 billion. billion. Mm. You see, when we hear the sums like this, the numbers like this... Uh, but but we, you have also to add the World Bank, yes. uh, the EMF, and that's sure. around uh, 30, 35 okay. billion. You know? Well, that's quite a help. Mm -hmm. We are doing like an exchange. Money reforms. Money reforms. Mm -hmm. We will give money, you will do reforms. And the first reform is Fight against you have to increase your quality norms because really the Soviet norms is really inefficient. See the difference between a Lada and Mercedes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have Soviet <laughs> norms, Jiguli, and you have the EU norms, Mercedes. Lobbying. Yeah. In EU is not like lobbying in Ukraine. In EU, lobbying is really a process of influence in what to explain decision. more. Explain to the Ukrainian businessman and explain to the European businessman. Because you really, when you see some European businessman and when you talk about Ukraine to some European businessman, this is like terra incognita, you know. Yeah. You know, they understand nothing about Ukraine mentality, you know. This is, wow, you have to explain well, everything. I, and I think that's why our show is going to work. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we, we have do to this. explain Ukraine to the rest of the world. What's, what really happened in Ukraine, in the real Ukraine? And I believe that's what we're going to do. There are many issues, tons of issues that we will discuss. Thank you for being with us. It was uh, UAT time with Olivier Vidrin and Sergei Vichansky. Stay with us and we will show you the real Ukraine. Have a good day and see you soon.